The overall goal of this experimental protocol is to determine whether the VTA and its major mesotelecephalic DA projection zones would display coordinated and simultaneous C-FOS activation after novel intake of corn oil, glucose, fructose, or saccharin solutions. This method can help answer key questions in the neurobiology field, such as motivation, and identify whether multiple brain sites are activated in a coordinated fashion in response to palatable stimuli. The main advantage of this technique is that it combines the established behavioral assays, cellular activation techniques, and the statistical analyses. To set up the apparatus, use a calibrated centrifuge tube with a rubber stopper and a 45 degree angle metal sipper tube to provide an accurate measurement of the solution presented to the rat. Secure it to the home cage by a taut metal spring and to allow visibility of the calibration. Three to five days before the training, restrict food rations to the rat to reduce its body weight to 85% of its original weight in order to increase motivation to consume the solution. In the meantime, provide 10 milliliters of pre-training solution with 0.2% saccharin to the animal for four days over a one-hour session to maximize the probability that the rat will sample the subsequent test solution with short latency. Weigh the tube before and after each session to obtain the intake measurement. Then, perform an intake test on the fifth day on subgroups receiving one of the six solutions. Ensure that the rat samples solution with short latency